Hi, I'm Peter Kucher. I'm the Law Enforcement Academy instructor here at the Capital Area Technical Center. I would like to talk a little bit about the program as a recruitment tool to bring students into the program. Things that are a must uh, would be expectations when it comes to coming into the program. The students need to be very professional, disciplined, respect. Uh, we're looking for strong work ethics and integrity out of the students. I'm looking for professionalism inside the classroom, outside the classroom, and when I say outside, I'm talking about things that could get them in trouble with my program by doing improper things at their sending school, whether it's being suspended, uh, anything to do with thefts, uh, alcohol, uh, drug-related incidences. So we monitor that really closely. It's not a program for those type of students. They're held accountable for their homework, for their due dates. Law enforcement is basically a lot of report writing, so they learn the skills here. Physical fitness is a must. We do at least two sessions of physical fitness every week. Uh, one session with myself, one session with the National Guard. I work very closely in partnership with the National Guard. Uh, and I also work in close partnership with Augusta Police Department and the Maine State Police. Uh, one of the key components of the program is the MARC program, which is methods of arrest, restraint, and control, which is a lot of hands-on techniques when it comes to the use of force, being able to restrain somebody, control them, and then getting them in the handcuffs. So I'm Officer Dealer with the Augusta Police Department. I'm a MARC instructor. I'm on Augusta's special response team. I'm a crisis mm -hmm. negotiator, and I'm also a PTO, a training officer for the Augusta Police Department. The most important thing for officers to know when they get into this field is how to protect themselves and other people. And Mark does a great job of giving the officers the skills necessary to effect an arrest in a, a variety of different situations. Mark is something that we're, we're doing here is we're, it's a, it's a crawl to a walk to a run. Uh, we're not starting off with uh, active fights with us being combative. We're learning all the techniques and we're trying to get to all the fine details in order to build up their skills to the point where they do feel comfortable engaging us in a fight. The biggest thing that we teach here is safety, using the correct force necessary and good communication skills. Good mark skills makes you a much more well-rounded officer, understanding threat assessment, how to gauge everybody's individual actions and take the correct course of action. We basically do everything that the Maine Criminal Justice Academy does at a lower scale. Anything from use of force, report writing, domestic violence, sexual assault investigations, accident investigations, uh, OUIs, anything to do with low risk stops, high risk stops, uh, stopping vehicles, giving them heads up that when they leave here, uh, three big options they can get right into when they leave is corrections, dispatching, and security. Once they turn 21, uh, they then can apply for any law enforcement agency in the state of Maine. So the majority of my students leave here either move on to college or go into the military. So it's a good military base. The program's been successful enough now that I've been able to watch many of my students, over 20 now, that are actually working in law enforcement. They got their degree or got into the military, uh, and now they're working for actual police departments throughout the state. Hi, my name is Trooper Hunter Blanger. I used to be part of the Capital Area Technical Center Law Enforcement Program when I was in high school. The biggest thing that this program did for me is it taught me not only what to do to get into law enforcement, but what not to do, the mistakes not to make, how to make myself professional, and to excel in life and beyond. Um, my goal in life was to be a Maine State Trooper, and I can say wholeheartedly that Pete, uh, Mr. Pete Kucher and this program taught me the skills necessary to move on to college, uh, excel there, get jobs and, as a law enforcement officer, and then follow my dream to become an agency trooper. Get there now. 
I'll stop if you just go away. Sir, you stop leave. If you just leave, I'll stop. If you just leave, I'll stop. If you just leave, I'll stop, okay? If you just leave, I'll stop. Sir, stop if you just leave. Own it. Own it. Strike. Strike the elbow. Down, 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 down. Hey! Yeah. Woo! Now don't lose it. Stay heavy. Don't lose it. Sir, put your head back and Do it down. No. Do it down. Yeah. Sir. Stop resisting! No. Put your hand behind your back! No. Second officer arrived on scene. Zero! No. You're not going to do it! Stop! Do it now! No. Work together, guys. You gotta communicate. Where's your weight? Where's your weight? Alright, I got my weight. You're getting left hand now. Ah. You gotta communicate with Take your hand off now! Good pressure point. Ah. Oh. No. Listen. Sir, stop resisting! Listen. Please, guys. I don't want to go to jail, okay? Stop resisting! Make the charges work! Then that rest! Then that rest! Easy, Jackie. It's going. There you go. Better do that. Cross your collapse it. Put your other hand behind your back. Do it now. No. Don't lose that goose neck. No. Stay tight. Get in tighter, Jackie. Tighter. No. Knees in. No. Yeah. Listen, guys. Listen. Let's just Put talk about it. Put your other hand behind your back. Guys. And break. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Woo!